<laughs> You're silly. Let's leave it and find another one, okay? <laughs> Here, there's one. <laughs> Good. You want the big one. All right. Oh boy. <laughs>
So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is another beautiful day here in Western Pennsylvania. And you know what? I'm just going to call it right now. Winter's over. I do believe so. Uh, I did look at the long-term forecast. I mean, like this morning, it was cold. It was about 16 degrees. But in the afternoons, it's getting up to about 40. And it looks pretty good for the next week or so. And things are finally starting to dry out. This basket of firewood I have right here, I'm going to take it down to uh, Levi's place, down to the brick house. He's getting ready to uh, start uh, boiling some maple sap, uh, but it is perfect weather for that. Freezing at night, warming up during the day. Uh, the trees are just running like a garden hose right now. But once we get that done, I need to come up here, and I'll show you when I get back up. But I need to move a little bit of stone here around the back of the building. I'll show you what we'll have coming up back there. Because I need to get another load of stone in here for underneath the concrete. Uh, this weekend, yeah, this weekend we're going to do the uh, plumbing under the floor. Then you put 2B limestone on top of that, and then we'll do the radiant floor heat stuff and get the concrete poured. Uh, that should all happen within the next couple weeks. And then I've got a bunch of work to do around the outside. We'll be installing that Versetta stone on the front. But once the concrete's poured, we can start framing walls in there, get the electrician in, roughing the, the wiring, all the electrical. Uh, but things are really going to start coming together. Everything seems to just start happening this time of year. You know, for the last month or so, uh, there wasn't a whole lot you could do. You know what I mean? The weather was just miserable. It was cold. Everything was frozen. Same thing with at work. We're finally getting started again there. The first part of this video was from a job I was on today. We were uh, hydro seeding a project. And the contractor that I used, he had two, no, I think he had three hydro seeders out there. And it was probably, I don't even know, nine acres of seeding, something like that. And he got it all done today. Uh, sometimes we'll use straw on top and like crimp it in. But this time of year, things are going to start growing here in the next couple of weeks. So we can just hydro seed it. And in a few weeks, man, eh, about a month or so, it should start turning green and uh, it'll work out good. But anyway, right now I'm going to run this basket of wood down to uh, the brick house. We'll come up here, move some stone. I want to show you what I'm going to do on the back side of the building and we'll just see what else we get into. But I got about an hour, hour and 15 minutes before it gets dark. So we should be able to get a little something done. We got that basket of firewood down to Levi's place. I'll show you what we're going to do now. Before the uh, weather got bad, I put this 2A limestone in here. You can see I've got Gia textile underneath it. And I have some of that uh, number three rock underneath of it. It's good and hard, very solid. It'll work out well. But over here, I'm going to need to continue this road around the building. And uh, this tree, by the way, is going to have to go for a couple reasons. One, it kind of hangs over the building a little bit. But number two, where that big pile of topsoil is and those roots, that all needs to be cut down just a little bit because it kind of slopes towards the building. So I'll get rid of that tree, hopefully, uh, maybe this weekend after we're done with the plumbing. Need to move some of that topsoil and I'll get that road taken around the building. But in the meantime, I'm gonna bring some more of that 2A limestone here and just kind of stockpile it right here.
right, there's a little more over there than I thought. Got about uh, six or seven tons here probably. That's good. I'll be anxious to get that tree out of there though and get this all fixed up all around the building. That'll be good. This is that load of firewood that I'm giving away. I was going to take it over the other day, but if you watched that last video, uh, you know I had to run out to State College. So I think I'll run this over to them tomorrow evening when I get home, and uh, that'll be good. It's nice stuff. Nice and dry. All right, I still have a little bit left right here. What I'm going to do now is smooth this all up a bit roll it in and then when I get that load of 2B limestone we can get it back that way a little bit further this one was kind of blocking the door just a bit so uh, this will work out good and I'll tell you I'm gonna be getting a lot more stone everybody always teases me about how much stone I get it's really not that much uh, but I'll need more of the number three rock to get around the building probably two more loads of the 2A and at least one load of 2B limestone that right there is about uh, what is that that's a little over two thousand dollars worth of stone I remember when a triaxle load of stone was like 212 bucks man I wish it was like that today but now it's a little bit over five hundred dollars but if you want to stay out of the mud it is what it is All right, that's better. Still kind of temporary, but that'll work. I'll move that bucket out of the way uh, in the next day or so. And then when I get that 2B limestone, we can dump it right back in here. That'll be good. Levi and grandson Ty are up for a visit. When I was moving that rock around, I could see Ty up there in the window checking everything out. That kid absolutely loves these tractors, the excavator. And then when I'm done, I'll go in the house and if I sit down at my desk, he just starts bringing me stuff. Little tractors, excavators, trucks, just piles them all over the place, over the keyboard. He is really into it. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. Uh, like I said, things are about to break wide open around here. Really looking forward to spring. And like I always say, if you enjoyed these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. <music>